I am Laura. I'm Audrey, and, and this week was Pajami Jam, so that's why I'm in a onesie. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is week three of level one of doing Charleston of March 2017, Wednesday Night Hop. It's always a mouthful. Um, and today we talked about moving in Charleston, and so really going from this kind of more stationary feel of Charleston to something that's moving. So we're going to do it for you. We spent a lot of time on class on this day, and we're not going to talk a lot about it in this review video, but this is what we did. We added kicks to our Charleston. So it looks like this. One, two, three, five, six, kick, step. One, two, three, kick, kick, step. Rock, step, kick, 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 step. So we added in this kick back rather than doing a toe heel, um, and that allowed us to really travel forward and back as we do Charleston. We spent a lot of time working on that and used it awesome. Um, so next, we partnered up. Yeah. So we put that into partner Charleston and making sure that, again, as we talked about last week, that we're moving forward and backwards. Okay. And then we started talking about doing the difference between rotational uh, Charleston and linear. So what we have just done was linear. The rotational would be kind of opening up like this. Okay. Sorry about that. It's okay. So one, kick, and kick. Kick and kick. So here we have our rotation. And for leads, it's not so much that I'm pulling on my follow. I have a solid connection on the back again that we have been emphasizing since week one. Uh, but all I'm doing is creating space behind my follow. And then it's the follow's responsibility. The follow actually fill that space. So I'm not waiting for some lead to pull me back, but as the lead kind of open ups, opens up this space as I ro rock step, I rotate into their arm. Yeah. So it looks and like that. Uh, her arm is also, like again, the arm connection that's on my arm is also super important for this as well. Yeah, so I'm also staying connected here. And because the it's more of like a rotational open up rather than just a stepping back. And so I want to make sure that I keep this connection here in between us. We also added for the first time this month, this hand here. And we wanted to start with the back hand because again, we're not pushing and pulling our partner around. Um, most of this leading is coming from, again, the back and the arm here. But it's very helpful as another point of connection to have this uh, kind of like bouncing away and here and tension here, connect here and connect. So it kind of helps us to uh, say, oh, hey, we're stop stopping our momentum, stopping our rotation. Rotational. Yep. Yep. Um, it's not a push and pull, just a really kind of compression in the middle. Yep. Cool. So then we added some kicks in here, huh? and kick, kick, kick. So again, I'm not pulling or pushing here. Um, it's just kind of like a, and redirect, and redirect. Everything is still coming from my back arm. Yep. And what was really important that we talked about is not letting your, arm, your elbow get behind you. Yep. As you're doing this, you keep it kind of right in front of you. Um, yes, yeah, so we did this exercise, but importantly, when you are doing these uh, lollies, they're called. You don't want to do this and collapse your arm. You want to keep it kind of in front of you. This is especially important for follows. For the lead, I would say I'm also keeping my frame. I'm not letting it collapse because if I collapse, what happens is we just, it's really awkward. <laughs> um, but I am absorbing a tiny bit more than the follow is. So my elbow does go a tiny bit more, but I'm still keeping my frame. Yep. Um, then the last thing that we, we did moved. was moving. Yeah. So we can also move with lollies here, moving, 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 and back to basic Charleston. Um, to get back to basic Charleston, as a lead, when I decide I want to stop, it can be on any odd count. We did the seven in class. Um, I want to be very confident in stopping myself on like the end of six, really, so that by the time seven comes around, the, my follow can understand that I have stopped. Yep. And as a follow, I'm wait, I use this connection that I have here in the back of her arm my, on, on my arm um, to feel that stop so that I know that our direction is changing. Yep. yep. And I guess, oh, last thing last was thing kick. we did kind of a stylistic, a bigger kick, if you would like. So here, 
here, I can do like a bigger kick for the lead. And again, the leads, it's more of a lead styling choice because if a follow kicks high. Yep, you want to keep follows keep our kicks low so that we don't kick our lead. Yeah. So that was everything. So we will see you guys next week. Awesome job. Thank you guys.